Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Christina and I make videos all about saving money, paying off debt and living your best life in the process. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, make sure to go ahead and hit the red subscribe button and also give this video a big thumbs up. If you have been subscribed to my channel for a while now, you might remember about a year ago, I filmed a video all about things that I stopped buying in order to save money. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below in the description so that you can check it out. But I thought for today's video, I would film a part two to that video and share even more things that I don't buy in order to save money. I'm hoping this video will give you inspiration of things that you can cut out of your budget every month in order to save extra money. Before we jump into the video, I just want to remind you that although I'm talking about things that I don't buy in this video, if you do spend money on these things, I'm not saying that that's wrong. If buying these things that are listed in this video brings you joy and happiness, then by all means, spend your money on these things. I'm sure there are things that I buy that you think are silly that you don't want to spend your money on. It's all about perspective and priorities. So there is no wrong way to spend your money necessarily. This video is just for entertainment purposes. And I just want to give you some ideas of things that you may possibly be able to cut out of your budget. So the first item or service rather that I do not spend money on and that I do not purchase are car washes. And yes, maybe the outside of my car is a little bit dirty at times, but I cannot justify spending money on a car wash. And I'll tell you guys, the story of what prompted me to include car washes in this video. A couple months ago, me and Aaron went to vacuum out the inside of our car and he wanted to spend money and go through the car wash. He really wanted to do this. We never go through the car wash. So I said, okay, fine. It seems really important to you. Let's pay the money and go through the car wash. I thought it was going to be like a toony $2. It was $10 for a machine to put some soap on my car and then rinse it off. So I was sitting in my car, like with my arms crossed, like while the car was going through the car wash. And I couldn't help but think like, I could literally get some soap and just scrub my car myself and rinse it off and it would be so much cheaper. The next item I never purchase are energy drinks. And an interesting fact about me is that I have never drank or even tried an energy drink. I think what first turned me off from energy drinks is in middle school, I was hearing some news stories about people who have overdosed or have had heart attacks after drinking too many energy drinks. And because I'm just an anxious person and I was a very anxious kid, I never even wanted to try one. That has carried over into my adult life because I still do not buy or drink energy drinks. Even when I was working night shifts, I never relied on energy drinks or even coffee actually, because I found the influx of caffeine at night and the sugar would most often just make me feel really sick. I like to just drink water or tea when I was working my night shifts. That's why I do not buy energy drinks. When I was in high school, I could have definitely been considered a nail polish hoarder. I had a big bin of nail polishes. I would buy a couple new nail polishes every single week and then just throw them in the bin. Now I probably own two or three nail polishes and I never do my nails because I just don't have the patience for it. I feel like there's two types of people in this world. The person who gets a phone charger with their new iPhone and keeps it for the rest of their life and the person who buys a new phone charger every two days because they lose it or break it or something else happens to it. I'm the type of person who keeps my one phone charger for life. I always know where it is. I'm very careful with it. So phone chargers are something that I don't spend my money on because I always use the one that just comes with my phone and it lasts me for years. Another group of items that I do not spend money on are lottery tickets. And sometimes the thought will enter my brain that I'm depriving myself of the possibility of winning the lottery because I'm not spending money on lottery tickets. But then I just talk myself down and remind myself that the possibility of me actually winning the lottery is so low. And I just don't feel like it's worth putting my hard earned money into that very, very low possibility of winning a bunch of money. Sometimes at Christmas, my mom will put little scratch tickets in my stocking. And I think those are really fun to do, but I don't spend my own money on lottery tickets. I follow some hairstylists on Instagram and they're always featuring different products that you should buy and use on your hair. But I am very basic when it comes to my hair care. The only products that I use are purple shampoo and conditioner. I don't have any masks or serums or even heat protectant that I use on my hair. I just try my best not to wash it very often and 
not to use heat when I don't have to. And I feel like my hair is fairly healthy. I just keep it basic and don't spend money on extra hair products. My hair care routine is not the only thing that I keep very simple. I also keep my laundry routine really simple. I don't buy dryer sheets or fabric softener or any scent boosters. I just use plain Tide detergent, throw my clothes in the dryer or hang it to dry, and that's all I do. A big pet peeve of mine is when you go to the store to buy something and they're pressuring you so hard to buy the extra warranty or the extra protection. And this is probably because I always have in my head like exactly how much I'm gonna spend when I go to the store to buy something because I do lots of research and I make sure I have the money in my account and all of that stuff. So when they try to add on extra things, I'm like, no, I know exactly how much I wanna spend in my head and I don't wanna add anything extra onto this purchase. <laughs> so that's why it probably bugs me because I do think that there's value in warranty and that it can come in handy, but I'm very careful. I hardly ever break my things. So I never purchase extra warranty or extra protection and it's never been a problem for me. The next thing that I do not buy are drinks at restaurants. I just can't justify it. I stick with my lemon water and that is good enough for me. On Friday, Erin and I went out to a restaurant for supper and I asked for a drink menu because I thought it's Friday night, maybe I'm feeling a little wild, I'll order a drink for myself. And then I saw all the mixed drinks were like $8 and I was thinking I could just get my water for free. And then if I really do want a drink, I can just stop at the liquor store and get like a can of cider for $4. Why wouldn't I just do that? Why would I pay double just to have it at a restaurant? These are just some of the thoughts that go on in your head when you're a really frugal person, I guess. All right, everyone. So that is it for today's video. I hope it gave you some inspiration of things that you can maybe cut out of your budget this month in order to save extra money. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you don't spend your money on because I would love to see if there's anything extra that I can cut out of my budget. If you did like this video, don't forget to hit the red subscribe button and also give it a big thumbs up. Down below in the description, I have the other video that I filmed about a year ago. I also have my Etsy shop, my Instagram, and my Facebook page all down below for you. And that's it for me. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.